back to CTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Sluten. Version control. As your projects get more complicated, you may want to back up or you may want to do experiments, find that they're not exactly very rewarding and you want to reverse them. Now, as you already know, is a general OSX feature there's automatic save so when you make changes to your project they are automatically saved you're not always going to the save menu and that's generally true for just about all the applications in the environment Xcode projects they have a notion of a thing called snapshots however and a snapshot is basically a version of all the source at that particular point in time. So if you're happy with your project and you want to do some experimentation or start going to the next phase of development, if you take a snapshot, you can always back up. And we're talking about the entire project here. There are two what they call SCM systems, source code management systems that um, Xcode supports. Now these can be used to do more detailed change management. In other words, you can let back up the version of a file, for instance, or actually look at. There's more detail that you can actually manage. Now, at this point in time, we're only really going to talk about snapshots. But these two versions, SCM versions, are Git and Subversion. Those are the two that are supported. It turns out that snapshots actually use Git. Now, if I go and create a new project, and I'm at the point where I'm selecting where to put it, there's a checkbox that we've never turned on, and it's, it's create Git repository. Now, repository is the database at which source is stored in. Now if you turn that on, you can then use snapshots. However, the first time you do that, you're going to get a message. Unable to create a snapshot. Well, it wants you to do a run. Well, what is it talking about? It actually wants you to go into the terminal, which is in utilities, and run a command git config. Now I recommend minus minus global because if you don't say global wants to know which repository you're doing it for and so on and so forth. But this will set you up so that you can create your, your, your repository and then use snapshots from, from that point on. Let's continue on. Alright, let's say I've started my project and I'm happy. I got the overall structure and some functionality. And I want to snapshot it because I want to make additional changes. It's late, it's 12 midnight, I can make mistakes, or I want to do some particular experimentation. If I go to the file menu and I go down to create snapshot, it's going to want a name. And I'm just going to say first version. Once well, a comment, I'll just say none. Okay, I'm coding along. I don't like the results I'm getting. Things are getting kind of funky. And I want to go back to the version I created. If I go down to Restore Snapshot, I'll get a list. There's only one right now. If I select it, I can restore it. I can look through the changes that have been made right now. It's just one file. I'm going to go ahead and save that. It wants to know whether I want to snapshot what I have. Well, I don't. It 
succeeded. So I'm back to where I was originally. Let's go to the next slide. We'll take a look in the organizer. Okay, <clears throat> if I go to window, I can bring up the organizer. If I select project, make sure you got the project that you're currently interested in. I got a lot of junk in mine. It's going to list the snapshots. Now you can actually export. I can export a version of the project somewhere. Now I'm not actually going to do that. Okay, that's the very basics and that gives you some version control over what you're doing and probably at this point your projects are getting more sophisticated and you're really going to need that. It's an underwater photo just below the surface.